Guanzo Arcova. Like they make the boba here, so I'm gonna wait for you to get yours to try it. It's your This is the brown sugar malty. <laughs> Imagine the lid was on. Oh my god. Yeah, this would be so loud. Ready? Oh. <laughs> 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 Ready? Oh. <laughs> 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 it's so sweet. Yeah, this is good. The boba's really good, actually. Yeah. Target in the Halloween costume section. It was actually raining pretty hard earlier when we got out of the boba place. I want a unicorn. I want a ho oh, hot dog! <laughs> yes. Oh my god! You should be an avocado. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh my god! Can you guys fit me? If this fits no, me, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I hope it fits. Oh my god, it fits. No, it's too small. <laughs> you look it's so it's too small. small. It's too small. <laughs> I can't even put my hand through. <laughs> it's too small. I'm dying. It's so funny. This is for children. Oh, it's for children. Oh, it's for children. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, my God. It doesn't, my head doesn't even fit in the hole. Oh. I like such a, does it fit any? It doesn't fit. Look at how close they are. Let me see how close they are. Me though. Oh my god! Oh my god! You have to try it. I'm five foot six. Sandy. I'm five, like, like one. Five. <laughs> oh, how cute! Oh my god! No. <laughs> oh my god! It just fit you kind of better, but you're still too tall for it. <laughs> what kind of fucking? Wow! You're <laughs> I don't know. It's for children. Like, I, mean, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, so ridiculous. <laughs> Look at Sandy. Oh my god. I don't have to put Good morning. It's been a few days since I've been back from Paris. If you haven't seen the Paris vlog yet, I will link it in the info card. We got back on Friday, last Friday, and then the day after was the LA Korean Festival. So I went to that with Ivan and Yuandri, and uh, we went to see, um, I mean there were a bunch of artists, but I mostly wanted to go to see Dean. It was amazing, like I was uh, lucky enough to get VIP tickets, and we were able to go like right in the front. It was just the best, like I love Dean. My favorite song of his is D Half Moon. It just like hits me right in the feels every time. And I listened to that song whenever I was just sad and like in a somber mood and it just makes me feel really good. When I first started listening to Dean, I had heard of him like in other people's songs, but it was Hannah who was like, you need to listen to Dean. And so I gave him a try and I was like watching his videos and I was like, oh my God, so good. So I'm really, really glad I got to see him in person. Like I feel really lucky to be able to have gone. And then Sunday through Friday, pretty much, um, I've just been working and like catching up on editing and emails and all that stuff. So nothing fun. Like I just stayed home and just tried to like recenter myself after traveling. Yesterday I had dinner with Amy and she came to the 6 to 6 to get boiling point and we just got some boba, then went to Target. And then after I, yesterday I actually went out to um dongo which is like this korean lounge ish place i don't even know how to describe it but we go there quite a bit so i went to see like yolandry and uh chris uh chris yoon <laughs> there are like two chrises in my life that live in la so um, i'm about to go see the other chris um but yeah i haven't seen chris in i haven't seen chris yoon in 
a really long time like in a few months like he's just been really busy and like our schedules just never match so um, I just went out um, to see him right now it is almost about like 10 a.m. I'm seeing my other Chris high school friend Chris um, because I also haven't seen him in maybe like a few weeks this is Chris I mean you've seen him so many times yeah it's got it Ew. thanks <laughs> So ridiculous. That's Chris's food. Yum! It's a Monday and Amy and I are doing like half a day off and half a working day. So we both worked a little bit during the morning and afternoon actually. Yeah, a lot of it. It's like 4 p.m. right now. But now we're going to the beach, I guess. We're gonna go bike riding from Santa Monica to Malibu. I've never done that before, so first time! Arugula, garlic bread, tuna, mashed potatoes, and Amy got the same thing but with kale. So we can't actually rent bikes today because it's too windy. Well, which... we can't rent birds! Yeah, we can rent a bird. <laughs> I have no excitement for that, but Amy's been wanting to do that for months. So you should do it. But I don't really, I don't really want to do that. Now we're at a bookstore. Cute. We're on the pier. Amy's getting a churro. Guess what Sandy found? A dead bird. <laughs> that sounds scary. <laughs> I'm scared of it being electric. Amy's dreams are finally coming true. She's gonna ride a lime. I think she's broken. It's broken! It's broken! It's <laughs> broken! We'll find another one. She finally got one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a lap in the parking garage. Alright, I'll just wait here then. Be safe. Oh You're not even going that fast, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually kind of disappointed. Kind of disappointed? Because I thought I would be better at it. <laughs> but next time I'll be a bird, in, I mean a lime and bait. Hello everyone. I totally picked up this pimple, which I shouldn't have done, but I couldn't help myself. I had to move a bunch of things so I could film. Where can I put you guys? That's too low. So that I could film my self-care playlist video. And I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out yet, um, but it's something that I wanted to do for a while now, which is to kind of share music in a different way. I think this self-care one is really important to me because these are all songs that I listen to on repeat when I feel a bit out of it or just like when I feel down or sad or just numb or I'm just having a bad day these are songs that I just listen to and lay in bed and just do things that I love to do this playlist is really meaningful to me like these are songs that have been there for me and I think that's what music is really all about is just that connection the way that it makes you feel, the way it inspires people and moves people. Anyway, so that's what I was filming. I get emotional just talking about it because these songs just mean so much to me. I hope it turns out the way I envision it in my head and if it doesn't, it's fine because at the end of the day, I just want to share the, these songs with all of you and hopefully it helps you in some way too. And if you guys wanna watch it, I will leave it in the info card so you can click there and check it out. Probably up by the time this vlog is up. Now. I'm I'm just gonna get to cleaning. The next couple of weeks are gonna be pretty hectic. There's just a lot of events going on. Will's coming down for his birthday this weekend. And then next weekend is Halloween weekend. And then the weekend after that is uh, Samantha's coming down and she's just visiting. So I'm gonna take her out. Um, that'll be in the November vlog though.
it'll be fun. It'll be a crazy few weeks, but it'll be fun. I am waiting for Will right now, for Will and his friends to get here. We're eating summer rolls for lunch. Will is visiting for the weekend because it's his birthday today. Yesterday, I went to the live CJ event. They're doing like a K-beauty pop-up store at Century City Mall, so I stopped by there and checked it out for a little bit. <laughs> pretty cool but I had to go by myself so I like didn't stay for that long after that I met up with Will and his friends at a Korean restaurant bar lounge thingy called GOM it was my first time there I've never been there before so I stayed at GOM until about like 1 ish 1 a.m. and then I left I had to wake up early today so I could go to the Shiseido master class with Pony I have the craziest story for you guys, but okay, maybe it's not that crazy. Um, the master class is really cool. Like, I watch a lot of Pony's videos and I love her tutorials. I think she's super skilled and talented. So seeing her do it in person was really, really cool. And um, she did the whole class in Korean, but they gave me these in-ear, like those translate, like a uh, headphones and stuff, so I could listen to the translator and you know what pony was saying at the end like i really wanted to say hi to pony and like get a photo with her just because i like don't know when the next time i'll ever be able to see pony again and i was like you know what i just gotta do it i'm gonna fangirl and like whatever i went up to her and it was her and her whole team there a videographer photographer like assistant maybe and just people from shiseido so it was like a group of like five or so other people so I went up to her and I was like oh is it okay if I take a photo and she was like yeah of course and I for some reason just didn't I don't think I've ever heard Pony speak English so I just thought like she I know she knows English but I just assumed that she doesn't speak English at all and so when she said that I was like oh. <laughs> I asked like if one of the photographers or like one of the Shiseido team members could take the photo for us but they were like oh Pony's gonna take it and I was like oh okay like cool so pony like took my shitty ass phone like my phone is so shitty you guys so she took my phone and she was like oh can you come on this side and i was like oh okay like pony has a good side and i was like totally works for me because i think this is my good side too but it was so embarrassing you guys because i was like i had my bag here and then i had like my like shiseido notebook that they gifted us and i was holding it like this and i was wearing my bag on my shoulder and somehow my shirt this shirt failed me today i'm not wearing a bra under this i'm just wearing like nipple pasties and like the nipple pasties aren't entirely opaque so you can kind of see through them and they're not my favorite nipple pasty but like they were the only ones that would stick on today so then somehow my shirt like just draped open it revealed my entire boob underneath like this book like this i'm not i'm not gonna show you guys and like the photographer was holding the camera the whole time and i don't know if he was recording video footage or just waiting to take a photo but you guys it was incredibly embarrassing like i hope no one saw and i was just like oh my god like sorry but she didn't say anything but she was also very like calm demeanor yeah it, it is what it is my whole i was so embarrassed and mortified after i was like damn this shirt failed me like i love this like this this is actually a bodysuit like i love this bodysuit makes me feel very sophisticated and mature but not when my boom is hanging out <laughs> oh I really hope no one saw it and like no one caught it on camera because it was like like I was holding it like this and I guess like my bag somehow draped it like literally you guys my entire like tiny ass boob cup was showing <sighs> this would happen to me I know at the end of the day it's not a big deal but in the moment I was just like oh, oh. like it happens to everyone but at the same time <laughs> Today I'm just gonna do some editing. Will is going to the beach and I really wanted to go and it's like perfect beach weather right now. I think I might stay behind because I do want to get some editing done and then later he's gonna go out again for his birthday. Yeah, I might just skip out on the beach. I love the beach. I would love to have gone. Where is he? I'm starving. I'm also really hungry because I didn't have time to eat this morning and it's already like one o'clock. What? Oh, the event was at 10.30. How is it already one? Time goes by so fast, too fast. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. No, 
the battery's dying. Don't break the third wall. Oh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Unleash the beast. I know, unleash the beast. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. I look very tired today. I'm breaking out a little bit. I feel a big one coming right here. This past week, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. My throat has been kind of like sore and itchy. So I haven't really been uh, vlogging much or going anywhere really. There's actually like a couple um, events this weekend, but I don't know if I can make it just cause like, I just feel so out of it <laughs> i just like not 100 percent today i'm going to be just filming and editing i'm gonna film a lookbook which i haven't done in a while so i'm pretty excited about that um, i'm filming all the outfits that i wore while i was in paris and um it's gonna be like a fall lookbook because a lot of those outfits were for fall weather yeah i'm really excited about that because i haven't done a lookbook in a while so we'll see how it goes first of all i am going to do some cleanup here you guys have no idea like the mess of my room right now and i'm supposed to mount this tv but it's sitting on a like a package a box right now i was watching ivan's uh, vlog recently and he was saying how he doesn't vlog as much because he's not like happy or proud of the way he's living and sometimes that's how I feel too because I literally just have like a giant bedroom slash studio and the rest of the house is not really me like I stay with my relatives and it just doesn't feel like me so I don't vlog that much when I'm at home yeah so all I have is this room which I do love and appreciate but like I just really wish I had my own home too but I you know after Ivan said that I was like fuck it like I'm just gonna vlog <laughs> when I feel like vlogging and try to show you guys more of my life I guess I think I vlogged more when I first started and I feel like over time I just kind of withdrew from vlogging as much especially at home and just like I just didn't open up as much or have talks like these and I do miss that because I feel like there is like kind of a distance I guess between me and you guys so yeah even when I'm saying that I feel like I can't even look at the camera because I don't know but anyway I decided I'm going to get rid of this metal wire frame I'm not getting rid of it I'm just gonna put it in my closet um, I also hate this lamp but it's the brightest lamp that I know of and I love a bright room but I want to replace this and I want to paint the walls like it looks white in the camera but it's actually like a cream colored like a really weird creamy color so the wire frame I'm actually just gonna put in my closet I don't really want to show it to you guys because it's so messy but I'm gonna put it I'm gonna move it to this wall back here and then um hopefully it'll clear up space out here and i can actually start decorating um i do really like this but i just i just want to go for a different vibe now and i feel like it'll be really handy in my closet because i can hang like accessories on there i can put my sunglasses and just miscellaneous things i actually get a lot of questions about where i got this wire frame from my aunt actually used to own like a music store in chinatown and this is what she used to hang her shelves and her CDs. Like there are other attachments that go on this. She actually used to live in this room and she put this in here and then when she moved out, she left this here and instead of me putting it away, I decided to put it to use. So that's where I got it from. Like it's very industrial grade and it's actually quite heavy and that's why i decided to move it in my closet because there's no way i could get it down the stairs and into the garage sorry guys like i a lot of you have been asking me where where i got it and i don't really know where she got it either and i think it's quite expensive actually okay i'm gonna attempt to move this oh i don't know how i'm gonna do this actually the wire frame is taller than my door Look how much higher it is. Uh, 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 I'm a tiny person. So that is my little bookshelf. It has some filming equipment, um, fabrics, and just miscellaneous housekeeping things. So I'm gonna move the wire frame behind it. I really hope I don't regret this and want to use this wireframe one day because that will be so annoying. It looks so tiny in here, but I did it. It's up. 
it's there so I can hang like sunglasses on here now so I used to keep my sunglasses on this little pole here, but now I can move it. Okay, so I put my glasses here for now, but I realize this isn't the most ideal because it's not on anything stable and it rattles a lot. So I might have to, I don't know. I'll figure it out another day, but this is fine for now. But it is definitely an earthquake hazard if I don't stabilize this and this whole thing just fell down. like. That would be really, really bad. So I think I just need to figure out a way to like adhere this to the wall. Like I might need to, I don't know, something so that it stays and it won't keep, because it even rattles when I like open stuff like this. You know, you can hear it. I'm hoping I can hang up some like photos or like inspo or um, like Polaroids that I've taken up here too. I think that'd be really cute. I think once I organize my closet a little bit more, I definitely want to do like a closet tour. It's just I'm not very like satisfied with it because I kind of dump a lot of my other stuff in here too and it's just not very organized. Hi everyone! So yesterday I did end up filming the lookbook and then I actually went to Amy's. We like just ran a few errands together, had dinner, edited, and now it's Saturday! I am feeling... Um, let's see, I woke up today had breakfast and then ended up falling back asleep. I just felt so tired and I've been feeling this way for about the past week now. Like I think I mentioned it earlier. I realized like I'm not really sick but I'm not 100% either. Like my ear still feels a bit weird. My nose was like congested a bit. Um, so I just need to accept that my body needs some rest and I hope I got the rest that I needed today. I still feel a little bit weird, but um, I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. Right now I'm gonna go to Home Depot and just try to like mount the TV and uh, stabilize the wire frame in my closet and see if I can get the right tools for that. I need some screws and like fasteners for to mount the TV. I got the wrong ones the last time I was there. So I've been here quite a few times. I already know what to look for. I need one that says M6 and also 10 millimeters. These all say M4, M4. So this is the one, M6, 10 millimeters. Okay, so I have all the screws that I need now. Um, everything else I have at home already. So I got the screws that I needed for uh, the TV and to mount the TV, but they didn't really have anything I was looking for uh, for the wire frame. So I'm gonna do more research and figure that stuff out later and then come back another time, I guess. Hopefully I can just mount the TV today so I can, um, <laughs> honestly, I just wanna get it done today so I can watch horror movies with a mounted TV and not have it sit on top of a box anymore. <laughs> Hello, you guys have probably seen me in this shirt so many times throughout this vlog. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I got this shirt at the live CJ pop-up event. It is like part of the Wana One collection. It's super oversized and really comfy and I've just been loving wearing this. I was able to mount my TV the other night, guys, but it was not easy. <laughs> I just did one of the stupidest things. Like I, I was using my power drill, like a tiny one, and I didn't realize it was in reverse. So it was supposed to remove the screw, but I was trying to get the screw in the wall and I was just wondering like why the wood in the wall was so difficult to puncture and to like get the nail through. That was really dumb. I wanted to share with you guys why I wanted to mount the TV. So my TV actually used to be on this shelf right here, which is a mess right now. I do have a water filter in my room because this is the only way I make sure I get enough water when I personally keep track of how much I'm drinking and it's just super easy access. And you guys, drinking water has made such a huge difference in my life. The TV used to be like right here and it just used to sit on this shelf. Honestly, my makeup and skincare collection has kind of grown and I just needed a lot more space. I still don't like how I have all these products here. This makes me very, like, I just don't like it. It's just too much and I want to move it to the bathroom but there's not even enough space in the bathroom and my niece tends to play with a lot of these products because, I mean, look at them. They're so pretty. Like, I would want to play with these products. I do play with these products. Anyway, my TV used to be here and then I thought, oh, I want to mount it on this wall but the issue was that the studs 
like where the wood is where I could actually mount it was so oddly placed like it would be on the side here or on the side here and it would just be really freaking weird and the TV's just always kind of been in this corner so then I had this brilliant idea of mounting it here uh, I had to turn it vertically uh, because it fit better and I kind of love this solution because you can't even see it most of the time which opens up the space a lot more because like I said my bedroom is a bedroom and a studio and it just I have to try to make the most of this space as best as I can and there's just a lot of stuff in here someone's texting me I don't know who so anytime I do want to watch the TV I can just pull it out uh, from behind the curtain and anytime I don't want to watch it I can just hide it so it's great I will show you guys what it looks like pulled out oh and this weird thing is my AC unit lifesaver honestly guys but um, now that it's getting colder I'm hoping I can put this into storage and have more room too and here's this plant that Amy got for me. I don't know what to name her. I established this is a her, but yeah, if you guys have any name ideas, let me know, or tips on how to take care of her, because she's kind of dying. However, if you guys remember, this is Spike. He's alive and well and thriving. He's huge. He used to be like shorter than me, and now he's like taller than me. Let me show you how the TV looks like pulled out. By the way guys, I'm sorry about the clutter. I'm in the process of figuring out how to organize everything and how I really want to do this room. So yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! That's my setup! So that wasn't the smoothest transition. I'm still trying to figure out how to work the TV mount because it's at such a weird angle because it's mounted on the side wall. I actually really like it because I can also angle it this way. If So if I'm sitting on my couch, I can have like a diagonal view of it. And then when I'm just on my bed, I can angle it more straight on so that it's a straight on view too. It's a great solution. Very happy about that. It's a little crooked right now because I was too lazy to straighten it out. Man, this thing is such an eyesore. I really can't wait to get rid of this. Good morning. Today is Halloween. Um, please ignore the mess in the back. I was filming yesterday and I need to film again today so I just didn't even bother to clean up. Um, it's about noon right now. I'm just having lunch. I want to show you guys what I made because I've been trying to cook more and I'm super proud of myself. <laughs> so first I made this egg drop soup. It's actually from a packet so it's probably not the healthiest but I've been craving soup a lot lately and I saw these packets in the store so I just picked it up. What you do is just boil water, add the packet in and then um, drop in an egg and mix it. So it's really easy and quick but I try not to eat this too much because I think it is just a lot of salt, preservatives, MSG, stuff like that. Then I have my avocado toast. I've been obsessed with avocado toast recently because I had a really good one um, and I've just been craving it and I'm learning so much about avocados. I know this kind of just looks like arugula right now but there's avocado on the bottom, some red chili flakes, there's also salt, pepper, lime, tomatoes, and then I love arugula. And I'm about to start watching Whaley and Waz vlogs. I love watching their vlogs so much and I love their pets. Put that on pause for a second. So yeah, I'm just about to eat lunch and then start filming my favorites video. I don't really have anything planned for Halloween today. I've never been too big on Halloween anyway. Like I love going out and stuff, but for Halloween, I just love staying in and watching horror movies or like taking my little cousins trick or treating. Um, my little cousin's back in the bay, but I'm not there so I won't be doing that tonight. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started with the rest of my day. Hi everyone, it is well over Halloween now. I'm still, it's about, what time? It's 12.50 a.m., so I'm kind of creeping into November. I am in November now, but um, I just wanted to end the vlog really quickly. Um, I didn't end up doing anything for Halloween, just stayed home filming, still filming. I'm almost done, can't wait to finish up and then clean. My sleeping schedule has been a little bit thrown off. Um, I've been sleeping really late recently, like 2 to 3 a.m., and then waking up around 10-ish. I missed the days earlier in the month when I would get up at 7 and I would sleep by 12. Those were nice. I'm gonna get back to that because that's when I felt the most in sync and in tune with my body. But for now, this is just my sleeping schedule. I just want to end the vlog really quickly. Thank you so much for watching um, the month of October. I hope you enjoyed the time you spent here. I think I vlogged very sporadically, but hopefully everything kind of tied in together. I think I was doing bi-monthly vlogs, but now I think I might go back to monthly vlogs. Um, 
I don't know, I'll see how I feel. Right now I'm kind of feeling like going back to the monthly vlog again. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video or in my next vlog, whatever it may be. Yeah, bye. Oh.